everyone. I did a jump board slash reformer workout. And so I just wanted to give those who don't have a jump board the second half of the workout. So this is just gonna be the reformer portion. We're gonna start with some footwork um, because you didn't do any jumping just to warm up the legs. And then the rest of the workout will be the second half of whatever the jump board workout was. So we're gonna start with your foot bar all the way up in the top position. I'm gonna do a red and a blue spring, which is a heavy and a medium spring. I'm gonna keep my headrest up. The second half of or this portion of the workout or this workout is gonna be a unilateral focus workout. So doing everything, single leg, single arm, single oblique focus. So let's lay down on your back. We're gonna start with single leg footwork. So arms long by your side. You're gonna put that right leg on the foot bar or right heel on the foot bar, left leg is in tabletop, arms are long by your side. Keep that little space between your lower back and the mat. Take an inhale and exhale, press the carriage all the way out, squeezing that right glute and quad and then control it down. Lengthening long through that leg, slow and control as you come in. Stabilizing the hips. Exhaling as you press. We're gonna do five more here. Resist it down. Last one, you're gonna press it all the way out. Come in halfway, hold it still. Now little pulses up. 10, slow and control. We have five more. Four, three, two. You're just gonna hold it still, hold it for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Press it all the way out and then come all the way in. Left heel is on the foot bar, right leg is in tabletop. Keep that neutral spine. Take an inhale and exhale. Press the carriage all the way out. Squeezing that left glute and quad, resisting the carriage down. Stabilizing the hips and pelvis. Five more here. Last one, press it all the way out. Come in halfway, little pulses for 10. Slow and control, feel that quad. Four and three, two, one more. Then we're gonna hold it, hold it halfway, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, press it all the way out. Come all the way in. We're gonna go to that right toe. Left leg is in tabletop. Press all the way out. You're pressing through all five toes evenly. Try not to roll out to the pinky toe. Slow and control.
Try not to press out fast. I don't want you locking the legs. Five more here. Last one, we're gonna come in halfway. Little tiny pulses for 10, nine, slow and controlled, eight, feel that quad, seven. Last three, two, press it all the way out long, keep that right leg straight, lower the heel down and up just for 10. Nine, working through those ankle joints. Eight, feel a stretch of the calf. Seven, six, last three, two. Lift the heel all the way up and bend the knee all the way in. Drop down to that left heel or left toe. Right leg is in tabletop. Press the carriage all the way out and slow as you come in. Lengthen that leg long, control it down. Try not to press out fast. Stabilizing the hips and pelvis. We have five more here. Make sure you're pressing through that big toe, not rolling out to the pinky. Last one, we're gonna press it all the way out. Come in halfway. Now little pulses up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, press it all the way out, keep that leg straight, lower the heel down and up for 10, nine, stretch through those ankle joints, eight, seven, six, stretch the calves, five, four, three, Two, lift that heel high, bend the knees all the way in. Just rock the legs side to side. Feel a stretch in the shoulders and back. One more way, one more time. And then come back to center. We're gonna roll on up. Now you're gonna put your foot bar all the way down. You're gonna take off the red spring, so now you have on one single blue spring. You're gonna take your platform, if you have it, and put it over the thing. We're not gonna use it yet. Um, if you don't have the platform, you can always put your feet on the wooden platform, um, but it's just a little bit more comfortable. So, we're gonna come up against the shoulder rest. I'm gonna put my hands on the rails. Now I'm gonna rotate my feet to the left side. So now my knees are angled towards this right shoulder rest. My feet are off the reformer to the left side. So you're gonna pull your shoulders over the wrists. Now we're working this left oblique. So you're gonna pull the carriage up and in, squeeze this left side, and then control it back. Exhale, round up through that spine, squeeze that left oblique, and slow as you go back. Try to hold that squeeze of that left side in for a second before you release. Keep going here, 10 more.
exhale, pull. Last one, you're gonna pull it all the way in. Hold it there, round it through that spine, try to squeeze that left side. Hold it for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, drop the shoulders down. Six, five, keep breathing. Two, now little pulses, make it small. Try to squeeze that left oblique even deeper as you pull in. Exhale, three, four, five, keep pulsing. 10 more. Last six, five, four, three, two. Hold it in there again. Round up, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release. So I'm going to reach down, grab that right reformer strap. I'm going to face you. So my left knee is kind of up against that right shoulder block. You can stay seated if you prefer. I'm going to stay up tall. You're going to grab the strap with both hands. My hips are facing forward. You're going to rotate that torso slightly to the left and then exhale, rotate to the right, control it back. So even weight on both knees. We're just doing a little spinal rotation. So you want to initiate by pulling with that left oblique and then resisting it back with that right. Slow and control. Let the head follow the hands. Exhale to twist. Pull those abs in. Five more here. Last one. and then release. Drop the strap into the well carefully. Just step off of the reformer in the back. We're gonna to go to the platform extender. If you don't have it, again, you can put your feet on the wooden platform because we're just gonna press out to a plank. So hands on the reformer. I'm putting my hands into the center. You're gonna press the carriage out to a plank position. Abs are tight. So we've been working the left oblique the whole time. We're just gonna rotate our heels to the left. Now you're gonna bend the knees in and then press out to the plank. Slow and control the shoulders and wrists stay in the same alignment. Try to keep that head neutral. Squeeze those knees and feet together. Three more here, then we're gonna pike it up. One more, press it all the way out. Take a breather if you need, otherwise keep those legs straight, pike it up to the ceiling. The toes are still slightly rotated, and then back out to the plank. Scoop those abs. Don't let the reformer come all the way into the stopper because I don't want you to have all the weight on your feet. Five more here. Last one. Press out to the plank and just hold it. You're still rotated. Squeeze that left side. 10 seconds. Nine. 
eight, seven, pull those abs in six, five, four, three, two, and come on in. Do a little child's pose back. Just stretch out those arms and back and breathe into that stretch. One more deep inhale and then exhale. All right, let's come on up. We're gonna go to the other side, that right oblique. So scoot yourself forward. Bring your hands on to the rails. You're gonna rotate the toes to the right. So both your feet are off of the reformer. Your knees are angled towards that left shoulder rest. Now bring the shoulders over the wrist. Now pull that carriage in, squeeze that right oblique, and then resist it out. Exhale, pull up and in. Slow as you go back. Each time you pull the carriage in, try to hold it for a second. Squeeze that right side deeper. Make sure the shoulders stay in front of the wrists or over the wrists. So you're working the obliques and not the shoulders. Exhale, pull up and in. Three more. Last one, hold it all the way in there. 10 seconds, squeeze that right side, nine, eight, drop the shoulders down, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, we have pulses. Pulse it in, just make it small, 10. Squeeze that right side. Keep pulsing, we have 10 more. Last two, last one, hold it all the way in there. Five more seconds, hold five, four, three, two, and release it back. You're gonna reach down, you're gonna grab that left reformer strap. I'm gonna face the back. So again, you can sit say, or stay seated if you want or be up on your knees. My right knee is up against the shoulder rest. You're gonna grab the reformer strap with both hands. So the torso or your hips stay forward. You're just rotating the torso, starting at the right and then exhale, Rotate to the left. Slow as you go back, so initiate by squeezing that left oblique, I mean the right oblique, and then slowly resist back with the left. Exhale, pull with the right, and control back with the left. So even weight on both knees, or if you're seated, both sit bones. Let the eyes follow the hands. Keep going. Five more. Control it back. last one and come back to center drop that strap into the well now just step off the back we're gonna come around to the platform so either the wooden platform or the normal platform hands are on we're gonna press out to a full plank holding it there 
we're going to rotate the heels to the right side. So we're going to bend the knees in and then slowly press out. The shoulders and wrists stay over each other, squeezing those knees and feet together. Three more. Last one, we're gonna press it all the way out to the plank. Keep your legs straight and pike those hips up. If you need to take a breather, take a breather and then come back. Exhale, scoop up and in. Your toes are still rotated or your heels are still rotated to the right. Five more. Last one, press out to the plank. Hold it there, 10 seconds. Nine, feet are still rotated, eight, seven, pull those abs in, six, five, Four, three, two, bend the knees in. A little child's pose back. Take a little breather, stretch out the shoulders and wrists. And then we're gonna come on up, step off to the side. If you have the platform extender, you can put it onto the floor. And I'm gonna put my headrest all the way down in the flat position, or if you had the red headrest on or pillow, take it off. So I'm going to reach down and I'm going to grab my right reformer strap. I still have on one single blue spring on. So you could stay seated like this if you want. I'm going to come up and put my left foot on the headrest. You're going to do straight arm, press past your hip. Resist it forward. So straight arm, chest expansion. Resist it forward. You can always stay seated if you want. If this feels too heavy, go down to a white spring or a light spring. Slow and control. Straight arm, drop that shoulder down the back. Five more here. Last one. And bring it forward. You're gonna reach your hand through the strap, grab up higher on the rope. Sitting up tall, you're gonna pull that elbow narrow, single arm row. And then all the way forward. Stabilizing through that core, get that balance. Keep that elbow narrow. Pull slow, release it slow. So this is your little arm breather. Just working on posture and balance. Keep that elbow narrow. Five more here. Last one. 
and then all the way forward. I'm going to now sit back onto my heels, keeping that right strap. You're going to do single arm bicep, palm up to the ceiling, pull that arm in towards your shoulder or the side of your face, and then full extension. Try to keep that elbow still so you can place that left hand underneath the elbow to make sure it's not moving or just extend it out. Full extension, keep that torso still from rocking forward and back. We're going to do five more here. Last one. And all the way out. Last thing on this arm, come up to your hands and knees. Left hand is on the left shoulder rest. Tricep, so keep that right elbow bent by your side. Kick that arm straight back and bend it in. We just have 10 of these. Two, squeeze the back of the arm. Three. Four. Five. Get that full extension. Six. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine, and 10, release. Drop that strap into the well. Carefully reach down, get that left reformer strap. You're gonna put that right foot on the headrest, or you could stay seated if you want. So we're kneeling, that left arm is straight. So single arm chest expansion with that left arm. Resist it forward. Go slow, stabilizing through that core. Abs are tight. Five more here. Make sure that arm is straight. Dropping the shoulder down the back. Last one. And release it forward. You're gonna put your left hand through the strap and grab up higher onto the rope. Single arm row. So you're gonna pull that left elbow straight back, bending it, and then all the way forward. So like I said, a little breather on the arm, focusing on the posture and stability. Slowly pull, slowly release. Keep lifting the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Five more here. Last one, and all the way out. So I'm gonna come down to that kneeling position. So sitting back onto my heels, left palm up to the ceiling, bicep curls, pull it in, full extension now. Keep that elbow still, you're just hinging at the joint. Keep that torso still. All the way out.
Try to actively squeeze this left bicep. We have five more here. Last one. And all the way out. Last thing here, come up to your hands and knees. Right hand is on that shoulder rest. Bend that left elbow by your side. Tricep kickbacks with that left arm full extension. Hold it for a second, then bend it back slow. The elbow stays glued to your side. You're just straightening that arm back behind you. Three more. Last one, kick it all the way back and resist it down. Let's just hang up the reformer straps. You can bring the headrest all the way up. I'm gonna place my pillow on. Bring the foot bar all the way up in to the top notch. We're gonna finish with feet and straps. We're not gonna do single leg. I just wanna finish off with double leg after jumping or just the end of a workout. I love finishing with feet and straps, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put on one red, one blue spring, which is one heavy, one medium spring. You're gonna lay back down on your back. Reach back and grab your reformer straps. Press the carriage all the way out. One foot in, other foot, reach those legs up to the ceiling. So keeping the legs together, we're gonna lower them down and then lift up slow. Lower only as low as you can without arching that back and then controlling it up. You're only lifting as high as you can without lifting that tailbone. Even if you're super flexible, just stop the legs at 90 degrees. Try not to let it go past. Two more. Last one, we're gonna do some leg circles. So lower the legs down, circling out and around and back to center. Stabilizing the hips and pelvis. Just let it flow. Use this as a little cool down. And reverse directions with that circle. Open the legs out. Squeeze those heels together. Use those inner thighs back up to the ceiling. Out and around. Stabilize the hips and pelvis. Pull evenly with both legs. Two more. Last one. Lower it down to 45. Keep external rotation. Go into frog. Squeeze those heels together. Bend those knees in. And press all the way out. Think about lengthening the legs long over the foot bar. Zipping up through those inner thighs. Squeezing those heels together. Four more. Last one. And then bring those legs up to the ceiling. Grab the ropes, pull down, relax the calf, the hamstrings. You can let the tailbone come up a little bit 
If you want, kind of pull and release on the ropes if that feels good. Stretching out the back of the legs. And then bend the legs. So now you're in like a happy baby pose. So feet are up to the ceiling, your knees are bent wide. And just do a little baby rock side to side. Don't go too much. And then holding there, place the bottoms of your feet together. Grab your feet. Try to pull the feet closer to your chest. You can use the elbows to press out slightly on the calves or the knees. So you feel a deeper stretch in the inner thighs. Breathing into that stretch. Now grab the ropes. You're going to reach that left leg out to the side. Keep that right hip down, feeling a stretch in the inner thigh. And then bend that left knee in. Reach that right leg out to the side. Keep that left hip down. Feel a stretch in that right inner thigh. Bend that right knee in. Take one foot out of the strap, put on the foot bar. Other leg, drop your straps into the well. Roll on up. And we are all done, guys. I hope you guys had a great workout. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.